Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by yours truly. My name is Envy and today I am playing Beyond Contact. Now I'm not gonna lie, this game has been sitting <laughs> in my Steam library for way too long. I bought this game a while back, at least a couple months if not longer. And I finally decided to pick it up and play it. Queen and Hicks. I'm not gonna Reporting lie, I was not duty. disappointed. This game was actually a lot of fun. I definitely am getting like a, now that I've played it, I need a restart by, but you'll see why. Members of the UWC, the situation on Katern has deteriorated more quickly than anticipated. The latest surface scan has confirmed our greatest fears. We have discovered that this planet harbors a civilization and that they find themselves on the brink of total annihilation. It is the duty of the UWC to ensure all life in the galaxy has the opportunity to grow and thrive. We must intervene. I have mobilized Space Corps. We have determined that the best course of action is to evacuate as much of the population as possible. Thanks again for letting us work here. Quinn! Quinn! We've received an urgent mission from Space Corps Command. Seriously? Yeah. But we just tracked down this lost civilization. All right, what does it say? <laughs> you won't believe this. We've been assigned to the Katern mission. Huh? They don't usually send scientists on a rescue operation. Was there a mix-up? Uh, let's hear the update. The situation on Katern has deteriorated. We've lost contact with our satellite, and we need your team to provide reconnaissance and support to the rescue operations from orbit. You're the only expeditionary research team in range. Coordinates and objectives have been uploaded to your ship's AI. There's no time to waste. Please depart immediately and review the mission briefing en route. All right, team. Our directives have been updated. These artifacts can wait, but the rescue team can't. So let's get moving. Quinn, you need to take a look at... What is that? We're in some sort of asteroid field. <sighs> Are you sure you got the right coordinates? I've checked the instruments. We're staring right at Keta. It's breaking apart. Too late. Uh. Abort the mission. Get us out of here. Here we go. All thrusters in full reverse. Uh. Quinn, it's not working. We're being trapped in. Okay, team. This might be it. Brace positions. This is the Aurelius to all Space Corps vessels. Do not enter this system. Repeat, do not enter this system. The planet appears unstable. Make its own pulses are flooding our instruments. We can escape. Preparing for impact. Abort the mission. Do 
you wish to proceed without completing the training manual. Carl, this is an emergency. Can you locate the crew? Where is everyone? Carl, this is an emergency. Can you locate the crew? Where is everyone? Negative. Crew location cannot be determined due to atmospheric interference. What? But that means I'm on my own. Carl, locate the ship. That must be where they're heading. Affirmative. I am searching for the Aurelius. As I'm searching, I strongly recommend you refresh yourself on basic space core survival techniques. You're right. No point heading to the ship if I won't survive the journey. Affirmative. Now activating Space Core Emergency Survival Course. Before we begin, please ensure your scanner device is functional by scanning your escape pod. Space Core Escape Pod Model, number 3201. Be improved. It looks like my scanner works. Oh, I found this medigel as I was scanning the escape pod. I strongly advise applying that medigel. I detected numerous injuries sustained from the impact. Please, use your medigel now. Your Atmos suit is constantly monitoring your health, oxygen, and stamina levels, and summarizing this information into an estimated value. You can support your vitals by using medicine like that medigel, or by consuming food you find out in the world. Consuming food will also increase your stamina. If your stamina becomes fully depleted, then you will starve to death. This is a very in-depth survival manual. I am registering an alarming amount of toxins in the air. You will need to rely on your atmosphere's oxygen reserves to survive. Your oxygen supply is limited. You will need to siphon more from the environment. Look out for oxygen vents or plants that are producing oxygen bubbles. You can use your scanner to identify sources of nutrition and oxygen. Please explore the surrounding area to locate one source of food and one source of oxygen. Now, after understanding the basics of the game, I really did dive into it. Um, I'm not too certain I understand the, so the story to full completion, um, but I do thoroughly enjoy this. Um, it is a little bit different. I, I feel like I've been playing a lot more games that have a set angle that you can't necessarily change. So for this, I would like to change my camera angle so I can see more ahead of me rather than on top of me. Um, but for this game, it does allow you to change your camera angle, so it's definitely something I'm adjusting to. But I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Um, I do want to start over just because of where I built my base. I definitely want to redo all of that. And, you know, knowing the basics of the game now, I definitely would want to play this again. I've scanned some minerals and some of the flora. What's next? With the data you've acquired, we can now complete a research task. Open your research interface and complete rapid heating.
We now have a schematic that can be created. You will be required to provide the raw materials needed to complete the fabrication. Gather the needed materials and then proceed to fabricate one thermostick. I have detected that night on this planet is inhospitable due to an extreme temperature drop. That thermostick will provide you a layer of protection. Research reveals some interesting results. I'll be able to keep my oxygen topped up. And this food doesn't look too bad. Are we done? Can I go find everyone now? Negative. It is strongly advised to establish a solid understanding of how to best utilize your scanner before continuing. Okay. Give me the quick version then. Your scanner can fabricate useful equipment and structures that you will need to use for establishing a base. The scanner needs schematics for fabrication. Schematics are obtained by completing research. To complete research, you must obtain data from this world. Data can be obtained by scanning new materials in the environment. You can also acquire data by interacting with the world around you, or by converting physical matter into data via the data laboratory. For now, please acquire some data by scanning some local resources. I've got my thermostick. Should I crack this open and make sure it works? I would recommend you save that thermostick for nighttime. Once lit, it cannot be extinguished until it is depleted. Oh, well, that's good to know. So, are we done? Can I make a dash for the Aurelius? We've covered the basics of survival, and I have located the Aurelius. We can now proceed. All right. There's no telling what's out there. I'd better get my bearings and some basic equipment before making my way to the Aurelius. I would recommend a basic set of armor and one piece of equipment. Good to know. I still can't believe this is happening. Everything's totaled. I don't think the Aurelius will ever fly again. Let's look around. I'm going to need to fabricate my own equipment out here. Automated broadcast detected. Now playing back message. To my fellow crew members, stay strong. We've taken a beating, but we'll pull through this together. Many survivors have been secured so far, some injured. We've remobilized and set up a temporary camp nearby. We have secured resources and medical equipment. All Space Corps operatives need to make their way to our camp. This message will repeat until all crew members are accounted for. We are in a desert region rich in coral. Message concluded. Haha, <laughs> yes! I knew they'd make it! Thank goodness! We're going to make it, Carl. Let's go. It 
It's negative. The scanner is not detecting any heartbeats. A piece of the communications array. It works. Carl, report our status to command. We need help immediately. Transmitting emergency message. Sent. Hmm, message failed. The ionosphere appears to be deflecting outgoing transmissions. We're on our own. escape pod. Oh, hopefully it did its job. I'm not gonna lie, some of these bugs were fucking my shit up because I did not know that I can make a weapon. So that's why I wasn't doing so well either. Um, I wasn't fully Hello? understanding the need for that. Anyone? We need to find out what happened. Suits run out of buckets. Too. I don't think I have it in me to listen to this. Captain's log. Good day. We finished setting up our little outpost here. The wounded are being treated and oxygen supplies are sorted. Nearly everyone's accounted for. Nearly. We've been out searching for Quinn. Still, no sign of her so far. But she's tough. I'm sure she's made it. During our search, we discovered a massive collection of ruins. They look similar to the image we received during the briefing. After we find Quinn and patch everyone up, getting to those ruins is going to be our top priority. What? Everyone! Diamond formation! Get in a defensive position! Protect the wounded! It's coming! They're engaging! This can't be happening. Everyone's gone. Just like that. I can't listen to this again. indicates that something ripped open the tent. It makes great short-term shelter, but they would eventually need something stronger. attacked and were forced to retreat. 
I am not detecting any signs a retreat took place. The most probable outcome is that our crew did not survive the attack. Due to this emergency situation, you are now acting captain. The responsibilities of this mission are now in your hands. What? Me? Don't say that, Carl. We don't know for sure what happened. The crew said they found some ruins. I'm sure that's where they retreated to. We need to make our way there and regroup with them. Captain Hicks, I strongly recommend establishing a suitable base and fabricating equipment before traveling to the ruins. The unknown force that killed our crew necessitate further caution. Don't call me that. I'm not the captain. Let's prepare our defenses, gear up, and find everyone. Now I did start to build a little bit of a base just so that way I can start putting stuff in like a chest or a box of some sort so that way I wasn't carrying around too many items, especially when I don't have space for them whatsoever. So I did kind of play around with that a little bit, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and I definitely, when I play again, want to dive a little bit more into that aspect as well. I've never seen something like this on any planet I've been to. Indeed, I cannot calculate what this structure is made of. Caution, it is radiating an unusual energy. Analyzing. This energy is exhibiting a pattern, almost as if it is an encoded message. I can't hear you, Carl. My vision's getting blurry. I can see something in this structure. <laughs> I see five obelisks promising to revive me if I fall. I see something watching me. Something big. It's getting covered in something. I see spirals appearing all over it. It's starting to crack. The other obelisks seem so close. If I could connect them, I can travel freely between them. Elf time, please move away from this structure. Repeating for the 13th time, please move away from this structure. Re Relax, Carl. I don't quite know what just happened, but if this thing can be trusted, we just learned some valuable information. And I like how funky this game is. You know, they have like your radiation, they have My like the heat, they have the cold, you know, they have different um, I shouldn't stay here too long. biomes and different temperatures and different um, effects that the environment can have on you, which is also pretty cool as well. It's something I definitely want to get a little bit more into. Like I said, it just bothers me the angle of the game, but I definitely would want to play it's this more. so humid here. I hope my helmet doesn't fog over.
advanced mining tool should be able to separate the precious metal from the rock. I can see my own reflection in this metal. must have been a massive disaster in this area. Everything's reduced to ashes. We found them. The Brachylon. Time to make first contact. That's them, Carl. Friend or foe, these guys must know something about our crew. Greetings. My name is Quinn Hicks. Do not be alarmed. I am a representative from Space Corps and the United Worlds Congress. I am here to aid you with this crisis. Uh, survived? So it's true then. They didn't make it, did they? We're not warriors. We're scientists. We just wanted to help rescue you. The, thank you. That's very kind of you to open your doors for a stranger from another planet. This just might be the last safe place on the turn. I hope it stays that way. It has. I want to go home, but I'm trapped here. We were never even meant to step foot on this planet. Just take pictures from orbit. Then our ship was pulled into the planet. This is funny to you? Eight people, smart and caring people, are dead now. They didn't deserve this. We were scientists, here to help you. My mission is over. I'm not helpless. I've managed pretty well so far. But we're in this together now. I'm going to help. I'll ask the others what's needed.
Now I will say that I kind of did stop here as it was just becoming a lot to play. Um, I am going to end up picking this game up again. I just want to give it a whole restart just to fully play the game through with a better understanding of how to start it off. But if you guys enjoyed this, please make a comment down below and make sure to leave a like. I definitely want to play this again and I don't mind editing a video to show you guys my progress on it. Just let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe to me. I do upload a bunch of different games. If you ever have any suggestions, please make sure to put them down in the comments. I do check every single comment and I do try to check out multiple games as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.